I'm Jim Cosmala with ABB Robotics. I'm here to talk a little bit about some of the key features to look for when selecting a teacher pendant for your robot. The first thing we want to look at is using the joystick on the robot. Just like uh, you wouldn't want to play Xbox or PlayStation with buttons, using the joystick allows you to tie the direction of the robot moves to the direction you're pushing the joystick. So if you push the joystick back, the robot moves back, pull the joystick forward, robot comes at you. Push the joystick to the left, you move left, move the joystick right, you go right. Not only is it moving in that direction, but you can also control the speed of the movement. If you move the joystick only a little bit, you'll get a slow move. You want to move faster, you can get that analog effect of amplifying the speed just by moving the joystick farther. To move up and down, just like a screw, to screw it in, I turn it clockwise. To unscrew it, I turn it counterclockwise. Very similar to like a Bluetooth headset does for hands-free driving, having the joystick, you can spend your time looking at the robot and what you're doing instead of looking down, which, trying to figure out which button to push next. If you've got a teach pendant without a joystick, how are you going to move this to the right? Which button are you going to push? Even with the 14 buttons it takes to move this robot, I can't dynamically change the speed like I can with a joystick. If I'm moving to the right, and I want to move to the right faster, I just push it all the way over. Over here, if I'm moving to the right, and I want to change the speed at which I'm moving to the right, I have to stop moving to the right, change the speed, and start moving again. Another function is the full QWERTY keyboard. With the QWERTY keyboard, you can quickly enter data, names for 500 different I.O. signals, and it's kind of like the cell phone analogy where in, with the best smartphones today, you have a full QWERTY keyboard so you can do faster texting versus some of the old phones where if you want to get the letter L, I've got to push this button six times to get to an L, five times to get to a K. And I've got to remember that every time I go back and try to hit a K, I'm hitting that five times instead of the full QWERTY keyboard functionality. A final thing to look for is the ability to create your own custom HMI screens so that you can create custom production setup or monitoring screens instead of purchasing the standard operator interface panels or push button panels. So the three key things you want to look for in selecting a robot are one, how do you drive the robot? Do you have a joystick or are you trying to figure out which buttons to push? Two, do you have the full functionality similar to an iPhone? Just because you don't see a lot of buttons, you have incredible functionality here. You can pull up a full QWERTY keyboard or all kinds of other functions. And three, do you have the ability to create custom HMI screens uh, so you can create your own uh, man-machine interface to control the peripheral content in your cell?